Okay, so we've got um, a small plane which is able to fly at 215 kilometers an hour. And the direction that it's flying in is north, 34 degrees to the east. Now there's also a wind blowing from the west at 57 kilometers per hour. The resultant vector you're going to get is going to be the sum of the, um, the velocity vector the plane would have in still air plus this vector from the wind because the wind is going to be blowing it a little bit off, off its course. So your resultant vector is going to go from the start of the um, plane vector to the end of the um, wind speed vector. Now we can use the COS rule because we know the length of this side, we know the length of that side and we are able to work out that angle in there. Now the way we work out that angle in there is we know that this is 34 degrees, this angle will be 94 degrees, so this angle here is going to be, it's going to be 56 degrees. Now that means that this angle in here is going to be, um, make that up to 180, so that angle in there is going to be 124 degrees. So now, knowing both this side, this side and this angle, we can use the COS rule to work out the magnitude of the uh, resultant velocity. Once we've determined that, we can use the sine rule to work out the size of this angle here and therefore work out the direction that the uh, resultant factor is going.